When was the last time you deployed a new feature with confidence? Let's talk about Laravel Pennant. It's a lightweight feature flag package for your Laravel application. But what does this mean? Think about a new feature you would like to introduce to your users, like a new checkout design. You can just update the design and everyone sees it right away. This works, but it has some drawbacks. What if something isn't working as expected or if people don't like it? Everyone experiences the same issue immediately. That's why it makes sense to roll out such features slowly and only to specific users first. But how does it work? In this app, we have this checkout page. We also worked on a new one, this one here. In order to test this, we want to roll it out only to some of our users. So in order to roll it out to some specific users, we need to create a new feature. And typically this is done inside the service provider and I have Pennant here already installed and I'm using the define method on the Pennant facade in order to create a feature. And I'll give it a name like check out new here. And then the second argument is a callback. And what we get here is by default the user, which is the scope of the feature here. All right, and the only thing then here for us to do is we can determine return a boolean and define if this should be um, true or false. So in our case, we're saying um, if you're an admin, you should see the new one. Okay, so this is how we define this. And then secondly, we also need to check it. So inside my controller here, I'm checking now also with the feature facade and the active method if this feature is active for a specific user. And if it is, what are we going to do? We're going to return a different view to check out new. All right, let's give this a look. And as I told you here, I have defined that I'm logging in with the first user, which is an admin, and then the second user is not an admin. Let's try with the first one here. All right, we see the new checkout, perfect. And now with a different user, we still see the old checkout, perfect. Everything just by defining the feature here and then checking inside your controller if the feature is active for this current user or not. By default, Pennant uses its database storage. And you will see entries for different features and scopes. So here are our entries for our two users. This way, Pennant only has to check the closure once and then retrieves the value from the storage, the database in our case. This ensures your users get the same result and the consistent experience, which is important. In addition to the database storage, Pennant also supports in-memory storage for your features. Well, what's cool about our feature here is that we have great flexibility in determining who should see the new checkout form. In addition to our admin check, we use for everyone else the lottery helper to show it to one of 100 users. This is great for gradually providing more users with the new feature. For another example, consider a new API version as a feature where you want to ensure some users test it first in case of errors before giving everyone access. So let's define here another feature. And what I'm doing here is pretty much the same as before. This is a new feature called checkout button color. But the difference here is that we're just returning a random value of this array with three different colors that work well with our designs. So now instead of being stored in the database, if something is true or false, we're now storing values which we can use. But now we also want to use them. So how do we get them? So inside my controller here, um, so this here, if we are using the new checkout feature, then we want to get our button color and we get it by the feature by using the value method of our feature, which is called checkout button color. And then we just need to provide it to our view and have already prepared this button color, I think is correct. So first let's make sure we're approaching our database feature values, which we can do with an artisan command. All right, here we go. Let's refresh and yes, you can see it's working. We still have blue, but with a little bit of luck, let's try to perch again because we get now a random color. So um, yeah, again, it's another blue. So okay, I'll try it one more time. We're going to perch it. Going to refresh and here, yeah, oh God, finally, we have a new color here, but you can also see inside the database, inside the feature table, we have next to the checkout new feature. This is true or false. We now also have our checkout button color, which is now set to a value which we can then use in our design. As you hopefully can see, Pennant is a great package for managing your next feature releases, and it has much more to offer like Blake directives, middlewares, and more. So please check out the official documentation to learn more. 
all the best with your next features.